Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Afro Gardener. Today, I'm gonna show you guys what the fall garden is looking like and um, y'all gonna do some projects with me. Let's get into it. So like I said, I'm gonna be doing some fall um, preparation product, projects, products, projects, and I'm gonna be showing you guys the fall garden. If you have not already, please, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, but let's just jump right in. So I'm gonna show you all the garden and don't judge me, okay? This is what the garden is looking like right now. Um, I have one cold frame in, um, and I just, it's just stuff kind of just thrown <laughs> there, but I just haven't finished. I'm putting a cold frame here, and I'll be covering these and this bed. Um, also have these two little container beds that my kids wanted to make, so we made those, and they didn't want to do anything with them. So we have those, and I'll probably be planting in those as well. But this is what everything <laughs> is looking like. Um, yeah, this is where, this is where we're at. Um, my cat, as y'all know, he's a troublemaker, so he kept digging in here. But we do have some butter crunch lettuce, some um, some leaf leaf lettuces, some um, Swiss chard back there, some beets, and turnips, radishes over here, and some carrots. That's what's going on in this bed um, over here. I planted a bunch of stuff, but a lot of it hasn't come up yet, but there's still some kohlrabi there. These marigolds are still looking really pretty, and so I'm excited about that. Some greens here, um, topsoy greens, um, and radishes and stuff in here and over here. Um, the mustard greens I planted are doing really, really good, so I am excited about that. My shadow in a way. And um, here is where I had some... Um, some squash but it it did freeze and so it did die and so that's basically what's going on it's not as much to show but I did want to show you guys the process um, that I'm going through as far as like trying to figure out how to cover all my all the beds um, it has frozen and it's due to freeze on Friday even though we've had relatively um, warm weather this week um, we've had two freezing days and a lot of the things that were not frost hardy did die. But um, it has been crazy warm. It has been crazy warm here. Um, it froze, like I was saying, it froze like maybe three or four times. But that's it. The weather has not been consistent. And right now, I think it's 70. I think it's 70 right now. It's hot. So I was worried about um, some of my greens and stuff bolting because of the change in temperature so fast. But um, I, even though that some of the beds are closed, I have left some openings where they're still able to breathe. And I'm hoping that they don't bolt. But like the change in temperature is just kind of, it's really throwing me and it's making me mad. Like just d pick what you want to do. Pick what you're going to do and just stick with it, you know. But um, now I'm going to show you guys how I plan on covering all these beds now my husband made me start doing stuff like this by myself and I'm not happy about it I was like why are you doing this but this staple gun has really been my friend um, I don't really use a lot of power tools, um, and I know that that can be kind of intimidating, but if there's like an easy way for me to do it, that's the way that I'm trying to do it. You know what I'm saying? Where I don't have to necessarily use the power tools to do it. But a staple gun is relatively easy to use. <laughs> You can get it in. I 
And the thing is, sometimes you have to take some of this. You can't fill it up all the way because the staples, you won't be able to put the staple, the staple gun back in. I might have to take some more out. me like two minutes to do <laughs> but I did it so basically um, I had this cold frame um, and what I do is I take the plastic and I cover the sides and the back I cover the sides and the back and I've already laid it all out so all I'm having to do now is just staple it in place. I'll move y'all so y'all can get it closer. Don't look at my house shoes. Don't look at my I'm business from the from my head to my ankles. <laughs> I put y'all right here. So yeah, I just stapled here around along the top. And then I'll just be stapling um down the seams, like down this seam here, here, and across the bottom. Now, like I said, it's pretty easy. Um, oops, I'm gonna mess that up. It's pretty easy, but I staple all across the bottom and the seams where the plastic connects with the wood all right here and then I just go through and I cut the excess but now also I also have to um, put plastic on the sides before I put the windows on and that's pretty much it um, it's just like some some wood and he just all he really did was measure and put the wood in place these are pretty easy to make. Um, I can't show you how to do it because I didn't do it, but they're really easy to make. And yeah. This is the end result after I um, stapled the sides. This is what it looks like. And then all I have to do is put the windows on top. Now I was talking about putting the plastic over here to kind of seal everything in. So I just stapled right along this part right here. And so then when I put the windows on, it'll fold in and it'll kind of seal. See what I'm saying? But whoop tight. <laughs> but this is the final result. I'm really happy with it. And now I'm gonna be moving on to these TPs that I've been working on. Um, I really like to recycle and reuse materials. And so when my kids um, got new beds here recently, um, I took their old beds and when we broke them down, I just put them under our little like pavilion covered covering over there. And so I'm gonna be using these as um, like a like infrastructure to put the plastic or um, uh, frost cloth on top of. And all I did is I just took like what would be like the sides of the crib, because that's essentially what it was. Um, and I just zip tied them together 
in these places. I just zip tied them together and um, it's really sturdy. So when I zip tied them, I just am just gonna be covering them up with either plastic or frost cloth. I have one here and I also have one over here in this part of our yard. That one's already covered in plastic. And so um, I'm running out of plastic. So I'll end up probably covering this one with frost cloth. And that's basically it. Um, I've been trying to um, little by little cover everything. This is another example of like the um, ends of the beds that were um, like the, I guess like the, the head and foot part. And I just did the same thing. Um, zip tied them together really tightly, made sure it was secure, and I'll be covering this one as well. That is basically it. I'm not looking forward to be really pretty as much as I'm looking forward to be useful. Um, all I did was put the plastic on top and then just staple it around the sides. And um, this part is open. I'm gonna leave it open for um, my venting purposes, but that's pretty much it. Um, I probably will cut some of the excess off, the excess like on the bottom or whatever but other than that i'm not really um concerned about how it looks but i know that it's gonna work so yeah um and that is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and remember to like share and subscribe to my channel as always i love you guys and i'll talk to you later bye